Hey guys, my name's Joe Walker, and I'm gonna teach you how to pop shove it. Now the pop shove is by far one of the coolest skateboarding tricks, and the good news is you can learn it pretty early on, yet it will follow you through your skateboarding journey. So there are two tricks that you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out before you learn how to pop shove it. Number one is the ollie. You are definitely going to want to know how to ollie before you commit to learning the pop shove it. The reason for this is that with the ollie, you pop with your back foot, and with the pop shove it, as the name suggests, you pop with your back foot. So there are similarities with the ollie that will definitely help you when learning how to pop shove it. Now the second trick that you might wanna learn is the shove it. Now you don't have to learn the shove it before you learn the pop shove it. Some people like to learn the shove it first and then move it onto the pop shove it, that's me. But there are some people who like to learn the pop shove it first and move it onto the shove it. For some reason they just find that easier. The two tricks by nature are similar in that they 180 under you and you land back on the board. But what your feet do is completely dissimilar. So you don't have to learn the shove it first. It can just help you get your head around the aspects of the two tricks if you learn the shove it first. Now the pop shove it, unlike the shove it, is 95% back foot, 5% everything else. And opinions do differ on where you should put your back foot for the pop shove it. And no one is necessarily wrong. I think it's a case of how flat you can keep your front foot and how hard you can pop and scoop the board. For me, I've been all over the place. So I started like this with the toes over the edge. And then I moved to sort of like here. And what I was finding is when they were like this, the board was flipping. When they were like this, the board was flipping the other way. So to keep it flat, because I'm not so good at keeping my front foot flat to control the board, I'm just having it pretty much there. Like exactly where I would for an Ollie. So that is where I have my back foot for the pop shove it. Do feel free to play around with it when you are learning how to pop shove it because like I say, there really is no right answer. Very briefly gonna to touch on the front foot because once again, there really is no right answer. For me, I just have it like there, just below the bolts, sometimes a bit straighter, like that. What I do not do is by any means have my toes there or like my foot, like there where it would be for like a kick flip because then you encourage flippage, which you absolutely do not want because you have enough trouble with the back foot when you're first learning this trick. So for the front foot, just about there, sort of comfortable below the bolts. So for me, the foot positioning for the pop shove it looks something like that. Never was there a more comfortable foot position. I feel completely at ease on the board in this foot positioning, as you can imagine. If I had to say one thing, the back foot is ever so slightly more off the board towards the heel side than the front foot is. But other than that, this is feeling pretty good. Right, let's move on to the steps of the pop shove it. I'd say there are three steps with the most important step being step number one. So step number one happens with the back foot. And as I mentioned earlier, this trick is 95% back foot percent everything else so the first thing you're going to want to do with the back foot is a pop straight down down to the ground a hard pop the harder the better now this might come as something of a surprise to those who are learning the pop shove it for the first time because you're thinking well if this trick is 95 percent back foot and i've got to get this board rotating 180 then surely i want my toes like there so i can scoop the board back and rotate it 180. The reason you wanna avoid doing that, in my opinion, is because the board is likely to flip and you'll risk landing primo, and you'll risk landing on your face, and we like our faces, so we don't want to do that. What you do do is, after the pop down, you do like a toe flick, and this toe flick is what gets the board spinning 180. I will do my very best to demonstrate that here, but it is very hard, so it's literally like a pop straight down, toe flick, and that toe flick and the pop We'll have this board up in the air and rotating 180. All this time, all the front foot is gonna be doing is staying at a level height with the back foot and remaining as flat as possible to prevent any flipping of the board. So to put steps one and two together, you'll be popping down and then follow that by a flick. And this happens in a split second and the front foot will be rising 
alongside the back foot remaining as flat as possible and then once the board has done its 180 rotation you'll land both feet on the board. So I did say there were three steps however step three is all encompassing with the whole trick in that it is jump however it's not really fair to say jump at this certain point because with every skateboarding trick pretty much you jump with the board as the steps of the skateboard happen so the pop shover for example there are technically two steps the steps i've just shown you but throughout that you'll be executing a jump you will bend your knees before you execute step one but you will also end on step three by bending your knees and landing the jump so all throughout the trick you will jump there is no specific point in time where you think right now i've got to jump i've done step two i'll say just you bend your knees you execute the trick you will be in the air jumping and you will land step three i hope that makes sense basically with every skateboard trick there are steps that happen with the feet in the skateboard and you pretty much have to jump and it's the jump that is step number three Right, so that's the foot positioning and the steps of the pop shove it covered. Now I wanna show you guys some pop shove it's and I'm gonna slow them down. Take a good look at my feet and what they're doing and take a good look at my upper body and what they're doing so you can get a feel for how the trick looks in action. There we go guys, the pop shove it. I just want to take some time to discuss with you the number one hurdle that you're probably going to come across when learning how to pop shove it and that is that the board is most likely going to spin, it's going to flip, you might even land primo, you might even fall off and this is going to present a commitment barrier which you're just going to have to push through. Whilst you're learning what position works for you to get you the right power to do the 180 rotation, you might have your foot too far on or off the board and this might flip it either way. Just persevere, see what works for you, you'll get it right, and eventually you'll be landing what is an amazing trick. The pop shove is likely to be the first trick you learn where both feet leave the board, so it can be quite scary at first, but push through it, as I've said, it feels awesome when you land your first pop shove it, because like I say, it is the first trick where both feet leave the board and then catch the board again, and then you land it on the ground and roll away like a cool dude. If you are struggling to learn the pop shove it and you find that the board is going behind you a lot try and learn a fakey pop shove it because the movements of the feet encourage the board to go in the direction that you'd be traveling when traveling faking it can really help you get over the commitment issues and learn the power that you need with the foot positioning and then once you've got the fakey pop shove it you'll be in a much better place to learn the pop shove it so i really hope this video has helped how are your pop shove it please do leave it down in the comments below i want to say a huge thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.